man with you. He pass it through you. Because the only time other folk can be blessed is what you pass on. But if you hold it with you, nobody else is blessed. And so if you want to bless folks, it got to pass through you. And so that's what God does. And so God says, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bless you for what you qualify. How do you qualify? The more you learn about Jesus, the better the qualification is. For man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So I don't live by what I know, but I live by what the Bible says. And so when I start depending on God, and so I say, God, you are my father. You are my strength. You're the strength of my life. You are my God. You are my all in all. And when I depend on him, to other folks, it looks like I'm going crazy. But to God, I'm growing. Yes. Because the Bible said, let this mind be in you that was also in what? Christ Jesus. So I got to get the mind of Christ. How do I get the mind of Christ? By reading his word and acting on his word. And sometimes when acting on Christ's word, it, it's more easy to look like to act on your own word or to act on what somebody told you. But God said, act on my word. And how do you do that? You make sure that the word of God is true in your life. You have to act like it's true. If nobody else don't believe it's true, you got to act like it's true. Even when you don't feel like that. Even when it looked like that, this is the wrong road to take. Yeah. But see, broad is the way that leads to hell and destruction. But narrow is the path. You see, the problem with the church is now, because of all of this stuff going on, they always want to walk on the edge. Always want to know, can I do this and be saved? Can I do that and be saved? What can I do and be saved? If you keep walking on the edge, you're going to hit a soft spot. <laughs> and you're going to fall. And may not be able to get up. So why don't you stay on the foundation? Come on. Stay with the foundation. The old sheep know the road. Follow them. I'm talking about it's hard. I told you I have long suffering. So I don't want nobody to go out here thinking about, well, this is going to be howdy howdy and everything going to be good. And I thought when I came over here and I got saved that every day we're going to know you're going to have some rough days. I'm telling you the truth. I got 46 years in this church. I got 45 of them as a preacher. I have 30 as a pastor. So you're not, I'm not, you're not talking, you're not dealing with a novice. And every time I think I know the church, then something different happens. <laughs> you ought to have to wait another way. Pam, I think you got you down, Pat, so oh, this is what they're going to do. Y'all change on me. 